Our next lecture is on fixed versus variable rates and how they apply to um, creating estimations and projections for printing prices. Our objectives for this lecture are to define what a fixed rate is or a fixed cost, um, then define what a variable rate or cost is. We'll identify whether specific rates within a printing company or any company really um, is a fixed rate or a variable rate and we'll estimate yearly company spending through fixed and variable rate projections. What's really important here is that um, you're able to identify one, what a fixed or a variable rate is, but more importantly, why is it important and why do we need to know that? So a fixed cost is a cost that a company must pay for goods or services that constantly remain the same. It does not change based on an increase or decrease in sales volume of the company. So, for example, on the right hand side here, I have to pay the mortgage on the building of my company every single month no matter what. It doesn't matter if I bring in eight million dollars worth of printing jobs in January and one million in February, I'm still paying five thousand two hundred dollars every single month for the mortgage on the facilities for my printing company. When budgeting for a yearly spending, any cost that we know for sure will be the same each month in and out uh, is considered a fixed cost. A mortgage payment, like we just talked about, is an example of a fixed cost. We pay it every month and the bill is the same every single month. Fixed costs can be accurately budgeted for because we know the exact price we'll pay. So if you ask me how much are we going to spend July 2016 for our mortgage, I will say $5,200. If you ask me how much are we going to pay for our mortgage in January 2018, I will tell you $5,200. Some examples of fixed rated items include the monthly mortgage payment on your equipment, um, your building, anything you have to pay every single month, um, vehicle building employee insurance, so you have to pay that every single month, um, salaried employees, if I make, uh, let's say, $120,000 a year, uh, that means that they have to pay me $10,000 every single month, no matter what, because I'm a salaried employee. I make an hourly rate of $100 per hour and I only get paid if I work per hours. Um, you do not have to necessarily include that into the fixed costs, although if someone is going to work 40 hours a week for you all year long at $100 per hour, it is a fixed cost. You know that you're going to bill them X amount of dollars. If it's a contractor and you only call them in when you need them, then you would not count it as a fixed cost. Um, you could also have an accountant or a lawyer um, that you have on retainer and that you pay them every month. If you make a monthly payment or you know the exact amount that you're going to pay in a year, it's a fixed cost. A variable cost, on the other hand, is a cost that changes from month to month. It can and will change based on an increase or decrease in sales volume of the company. The example that I'd like to give you is the electric budget. Um, it's going to vary throughout the year. Um, in January, this company only paid $260 for their electric bill, which is really low for a printing company. But in February, they paid $403. If you were going to budget for this variable cost, you'd have to average it over an entire year and say, well, last year we spent X amount of dollars for electric. We'll probably spend about the same next year. But you couldn't just look at January and say, well, I spent $260 in January. That means I'll spend $260 every single month. Because if you look at it in July, they used $890, it must have had the air conditioning pumping, and that's a lot more than that, that, that little glance that you have by looking at January's $260. Variable costs make yearly budgeting difficult. In most circumstances, companies must use projections to estimate the cost for these cost centers. An electric bill payment is an example of a variable cost. We may pay it every month, but we can't be certain of the exact price we'll be paying until the electric company sends us the bill. Variable costs cannot be 100% accurately budgeted for because we don't know the exact price we'll pay. We can use projections uh, to estimate the costs for budgeting purposes. That's when you take the entire year and say, well, last year I spent $10,000 on my electric bill. I'll probably spend $10,000 this year.